Hi everyone, it is a bone and skeleton week here at the Montjar at home. And I wanna show you how to do an experiment with bones in your home. Now, the first thing you're gonna need are some chicken bones. And what we're gonna do is do two different experiments to look at the two main ingredients inside of your bones. For the first experiment, you're just gonna take your bones and you're going to leave them out to dry for a few days. All the living parts of that bone will die off and you'll be left with the hard minerals like this. This is the minerals of calcium and phosphate that make up our bones and make them strong. Now, these bones are strong, but I can still break them open because they're strong but brittle if it's just the mineral. The bones inside of you and inside of a chicken are both strong and flexible. The flexible part of the bone isn't that strong mineral. Instead, it's a material called collagen that allows your bones to bend a little bit. Now to get to the collagen, we're gonna have to get all of that hard mineral to dissolve away. So second experiment, instead of leaving those chicken bones out in the air to dry, you're gonna take that chicken bone and you're gonna put it in a vat of acid. Okay, well, you're gonna put it in a cup full of vinegar since vinegar is the only acid I have easily accessible in my house. Now, vinegar is gonna take about five days to dissolve all of this calcium phosphate away. And what you're gonna be left with is a bone like this. They look the same. But since there's no hard minerals inside of this bone, it's gonna do something really creepy. <sighs> Hold your breath here. Instead of breaking, it's going to bend because the collagen that's left behind is a very flexible part of your body. So do some experiments at home. Find some chicken bones, dry half of them to look at minerals, and soak the other half for a few days to look at the collagen. Now, you can use chicken bones, but if you have a larger bone, well, see what you could do with that experiment. Have a great time experimenting with bones at home.